The promise was love, but the reality was a scam. Those details were revealed after three St. Louis residents were federally indicted Thursday for scamming dozens of women out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm Samantha Jones in for Claire Kellett. And I'm Corey Stark. Federal agents shared that information during a news conference this afternoon. News source Ashley Lincoln is live at the federal courthouse with the type of victims these individuals were targeting. A very unfortunate situation here. A lot of these victims, their credit has been ruined. Their savings accounts have been drained completely because of this. Now, and federal investigators tell us that most of these victims were elderly women or single women with the promise that they would get love. Instead, these criminals preyed on them for money. Now, this is some video from that news conference that we were at. Investigators say two of the men indicted have ties to Nigeria, but we're living here in St. Louis. They they were running what's called a romance scam, posing as high ranking military officials who were deployed overseas. Now they targeted these women through social media accounts and chat rooms, asking them to send money and other valuables to various postal addresses located here in St. Louis. Now their victims span across the Uni United States and states like Tennessee, Utah, New Mexico and Florida. These individuals enticed individuals who were between the ages of 45 and 82 to mail cash and electronic equipment to the postal addresses. These women believed that they were doing what needed to be done to help United Nations diplomats assist their online romantic interest in returning to the United States from their overseas deployment, as well as to ship portfolios containing jewelry, cash, gold, and silver. And the third defendant listed in that indictment is named Trinice Hassel. She is also a St. Louis resident. We did learn that she would actually help her two co-defendants in this case to open up these postal mailboxes to receive some of the money and goods that these women were sending. Now, she has not been arrested at this time. Coming up later tonight on News 4 at 10, I'll break down why investigators say this entire pandemic actually helped to accelerate this type of crime from happening. We'll break that down for you later. For, for now, reporting live in downtown, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.